Welcome back to Henrywood Hall from me, Martin Handley, for the final group of talented singers who've reached the last ten in the semi-finals of this year's Kathleen Ferrier Awards, being held as last year in the wake of the pandemic at Henrywood Hall. A reminder of this year's jury, Chairman Sir Thomas Allen, Valerie Masterson, Alice Coote, Ian Partridge and James Bailey. And first up, it's 26-year-old bass baritone Edward Jowell from Derbyshire. He says he's from a musical family, but perhaps more earth, wind and fire than Mozart. He began to be consumed by singing when he began treading the boards in local youth productions of musicals. And at 17, he decided this was what he wanted to do with his life, for better or worse. Since then, Ed spent eight years at the Royal College of Music in London, where he's now in the opera studio. His singing teacher is Russell Smythe, who he calls the Great Guru, and his coach is Caroline Dowdle, who he says is an absolute magician. Ed's accompanied by Lucy Colquhoun in his programme, which begins with Leporello's catalogue aria from Mozart's Don Giovanni, which Ed says is an old friend, first put in front of him when he was 15, and he just loves this showpiece of sadistic glee. Quite a change then to how willing my paternal love from Act 3 of Handel's Oratorio Samson, as Manoah tells his son Samson he will take care of him for the rest of his days. From oratorio to song and Forêt's Baudelaire setting Chant d'Automne, Ed feels buffeted by the piano part in a song he thinks expresses a midlife crisis, the poet conflicted by the domestic and the adventurous and choosing the latter. The same is true of Ed's final choice, The Sailor Boy, from Jonathan Dove's three Tennyson songs of 2011. A young man wanting to go to sea is discouraged by a mermaid and his family, who says it won't end well, but he's determined to find adventure. So here are Edward Jal and his accompanist, Lucy Colhoun. Hey, monsonate me! Non siete voi, non foste e non sarete né la prima né l'ultima. Guardate, questo non piccio libro è tutto pieno dei nomi di sue belle. Ogni villa, ogni borgo, ogni paese testimoni di sue Donne ste imprese! Madamina, il catalogo è questo, belle belle chiamo il patron mio, un catalogo è lì e ho fatto io. Osservate, leggete con me, osservate, leggete con me. In Italia 640, Magna 231, 100 in Francia e Turchia 91, ma in Spagna, ma in Spagna son già mille tre. Mille tre, mille tre, ma fra queste compagnie. Cameriere cittadine, fan contesse e baronesse, marchesane, principesse, ma non era ogni grado, ogni forma, ogni età, ogni forma, ogni età. In Italia, 640, e la Magna, 231, c'è. Francia in Turchia novantuna, ma, ma, ma in Spagna, ma in Spagna son già mille tre, mille tre, mille tre, ma fra queste compari le cameriere cittadine, ma con te se guaro e se marchesari, principesse e vannonne in ogni grado, in ogni forma,
la piccina, 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 e ogni orvezzosa, e ogni orvezzosa, e ogni orvezzosa. Belle, vecchie, Ma passion predominante, la giovin principiante, non si picca se si arricca, se si abrotta, se si abella, se si arricca brutta, se si abella.
baritone Edward Jowell with his accompanist Lucy Colquhoun ending their programme with Jonathan Dove's The Sailor Boy from his three Tennyson songs. Our second contestant in this final group of 2021 Ferrier Competition semi-finalists is 27-year-old Australian soprano Cassandra Wright. She comes from Cairns in northern Queensland where her grandmother ran the local choral society and taught at the piano and her mother was a singing teacher. Cassandro was drawn first to the piano and played it throughout her school years, afterwards training to be a speech therapist before realising she needed music and singing in her life. She studied for several years in Brisbane with Joseph Ward before heading for London in 2019. Cassandra is now in the Opera School at the Royal Academy of Music with singing teacher Kate Patterson and coach Jonathan Papp. Her pianist taking part in the accompanist prize is Ilan Kurtzer, who's also studying at the Academy with Michael Dusek and James Bailiu. He's a Leeds leader, young artist and a member of the Academy Song Circle. Cassandra and Ilan begin their programme with the Laudamus Te from Mozart's Mass in C minor, which Cassandra says shows what she can do and is a joyous, exciting way to begin. She follows it with the governess's aria, How Beautiful It Is, from the tower scene in Britain's Turn of the Screw. The governess is just settling in at Bly Manor, excited by her new job and wanting to please everyone. There's been the odd, rather bizarre moment, though, and halfway through her aria, she sees a ghostly figure in the tower. From Britain to Schubert and his song Ganymede, to words by Goethe about a young boy chosen to be a cup-bearer on Mount Olympus by the gods because of his beauty. And finally it's music by the American composer Jake Heggie from his cycle called Natural Selection, which Cassandra says is about a woman's journey through love and identity, joy alone being an expression of finding joy in yourself. So now here are Cassandra Wright and Elan Kutzer.
Joy Alone from Jake Heggie's song cycle Natural Selection to end their semi-final programme by soprano Cassandra Wright and pianist Ilan Kurtzer. And so to our last singer, 24-year-old high lyric baritone Michael Lafferty, who was born in Scotland. He's the youngest of five children in a musical family. His parents aren't professionals, but they were in a band together. There was lots of jazz, 60s music and country and western in the house as he was growing up. Michael started playing the piano at about nine, took it all the way up to grade eight. His mother suggested singing lessons and he joined Southend Boys Choir, which he loved. At 17, when Michael decided singing was what he wanted to do, he started at the junior department of Trinity Laban, before heading for the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, where he's now in the first year of opera school. Michael's pianist is 28-year-old Ashley Beecham, who's in for the accompanist's prize and who also studied previously at the Guildhall. Now he's a pianist and coach based in London, who's worked on productions at the Royal Opera House, Garsington and Glyndebourne. Michael and Ashley start with Dr Malatesta's aria Bella Siccome un Angelo from Donizetti's comedy Don Pasquale. Now Michael thinks of Malatesta like a dodgy car salesman who in this beautiful aria, in the oiliest way, is trying to sell his sister to Pasquale to worm his way into a family with status. Ian Venable's short song Flying Crooked sets a whimsical poem by Robert Graves about a cabbage white butterfly which doesn't know it's flying crooked so it doesn't matter. Michael says the aria Große Herr o Starke König from Bach's Christmas Oratorio has everything, not least a triumphant feel to it. Ivor Gurney's Lights Out to words by the First World War poet Edward Thomas is about the inevitability of death and a certain acceptance of it. Michael believes Schubert's Im Heine in the wood, though in a much more positive way, is also about inevitability, with sunlight breaking through the trees, taking away the poet's pain and bringing peace. And a second Schubert song is Goethe's Der Musensohn, in which the son of the muses is a kind of Pied Piper figure who no one can resist. So here are Michael Lafferty and Ashley Beecham.
butterfly, the cabbage white, his honest idiocy of flight. Will never now, it is too late, master the art of flying straight. Yet has, who knows so well as I, a just sense of how not to fly. He lurches here and here, my guess, and God and hope and hopelessness. Even the aromatic swift has not his fly. Crooked, 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 crooked. Ah, 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 ah,
Strahlen durch die Tannen, wie sie fallen, ziehen von Dannen alle Schmerzen und im Herzen wohnet reiner Friede um, ziehen von Dannen alle Schmerzen. Ich kann sie kaum erwarten, die erste Blumen im Garten. 
Michael Lafferty and pianist Ashley Beecham ending their programme with Schubert's Goethe setting Der Musensohn, the son of the muses, who in the end wants to find his way back to his beloved. And that ends the semi-finals of the 2021 Kathleen Ferrier Awards taking place here in Henrywood Hall. The jury of Valerie Masterson, Alice Coote, Ian Partridge, James Bailew, chaired by Sir Thomas Allen, must now get their thinking caps on and decide which of our ten semi-finalists will become finalists. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these splendid performances by such talented young performers and will join us again for the finals and I'm sure much more terrific singing and playing when we'll get to find out who will win the 2021 Ferrier Competition Prizes. See you then. <laughs>